the actual software looks something like this. As you guys can see, it is about as simple as it possibly can get. So you reflect your iDevice on the big screen. You can record every single thing that's displayed on the iDevice and it's based on AirPlay. So, you know, sometimes you actually have to get one of those recording cables and a little tiny box that costs like $200 just so you can record your screen. None of that is needed here. All you need is an internet connection. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt to start this up. So first of all, I'm going to go and show you guys that this is the full version. The limited version can do a decent amount of what this one can do, but this is of course the full-fledged way of doing things. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on AirPlay mirroring. Then I'm gonna find Air PowerSoft and poof, just like that, we have a full-fledged cast of what's going on on my device so as you guys can see once again all you have to do is jump onto your ios device swipe up hit this cool little button hit a power soft and you are set to go now with that said every single thing i do on this right here now happens on the computer itself so you can maybe watch movies from your device onto here maybe you can take a look at snapchat if you want to do that maybe you can go on skype and have a conversation on the big screen because think about it if you can connect your laptop to your tv as well you really can have your ipad screen cast onto the big screen all done completely over your internet connection heck you can even watch youtube videos if you're feeling it so with that said the main feature here is of course that you can take recording so we're going to start a recording and see what happens that's it you start a recording that is about as simple no crazy options no setting up mics no setting up anything all you did was press record and now it is recording every single thing that i am doing on my device i can jump into settings i can start a tutorial on how to do a software update i can roll this down and everything seems pretty top-notch quality and of course nothing seems laggy at all look how fast that's reacting i'm doing that as we speak so that is pretty awesome where exactly do your recordings go? Well, let's stop a recording and go and check out our folder full of recordings and let's see what the quality is like on this. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna go and play this right now. And just like that, that's everything I was doing on my device. No lag, everything is in top-notch quality. Everything seems to be, you know, perfectly editable and maybe like software like Adobe Premiere or maybe Sony Vegas and you're pretty much set to start recording gameplay or whatever you need to record. Maybe you're planning on starting a tech channel like me. Why not? Give me some competition. Finally, if you want to take a screenshot, you can do that as well. And you can disconnect using this button or you can swipe up on your screen and simply shut this down. We're going to turn it off and just like that, everything goes back to normal. So yeah, that's about it in terms of settings. Now finally, we're going to go ahead and check out some of the typical uh, settings inside of the PC software. So your video format, you can actually choose from all these different options. So we got MP4, WMV, AVI, MOV, FLV, MPEG, and of course, BOV, ASF, and GIF. That's right, you can even create a GIF while within this application. There's also a few settings like display in full screen as default, set always on top as default, and finally remind me when the window closes. If you want to mess around with quality because your computer simply can't support the highest quality, then you can actually choose one of these as well. There's also a few settings for the brand new iPhone 6, 6S, and the iPhone 7. There's also a few settings for, of course, your video quality. I want it in high. And finally, your system sound. Do you want your system that means your iPad or iPhone sound to be being recorded or do you want your microphone to be recorded? Most people actually want to set it to their microphone or if you're playing a game, you actually want it to be set to both. And finally, you can actually choose what, uh, where your files go. That's about it. It is the simplest software when it comes to screen recording I've seen in a long time. No crazy UI, no big power buttons, no timing, n none of that. It's just you click a button, you tap a few times on your AirPlay and just like that, you can either record or cast your screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.